Hi, my name is Catherine Sleeper, and I play bassoon and contra bassoon with the Naples Philharmonic. You may not have actually seen contra when you come to concerts, and that's most probably because I sit behind the tallest oboe section in the world. It doesn't even matter that I'm on a riser, but I'm pretty sure you've heard it. And um, I'm going to play some contra excerpts from things we've done in the past and things we haven't yet done. So this is um, probably the one of the most famous contra solos. It's from Ravel's Beauty and the Beast. heard the contra, there are plenty of times that you've felt it. Here's another very famous, very nerve-wracking solo for the contra tour. trumpets come in to save the contra player's life. That's the beginning of also Sprock's Zarathustra. Also have a timpani rolling to help me if we get all shaky and wavery. Um, oh, who could forget the most famous probably of all, everyone remembers this solo. I've gotten more compliments, comments on this solo, <laughs> you know it's gone right, the most of anything I've ever played. Um, but I need a special read for it. Can you bear with me just one second while I make it? This is what we call a bassoon blank. It's been bassoon read blank. It's been um, started out as a tube of cane and it's had a lot of exciting things done to it. And it's filled up and it's got to be worked down. It's ready to go. But just, just real quick. I'm sorry. I know this is. Maybe you, you like to see what we do. It is a special thing. I have to measure very carefully. 70 millimeters is where I start my contra reads. Oh, okay, I got one. I don't want to make you guys wait too long. So this requires some really careful. make sure it works all right okay so this is the famous solo with my special read from Travinsky's Petrushka <laughs> cut <laughs> so two of the things we had left in the season before it was finally suspended was um, for our masterworks 10 was Beethoven 9 the contra player only comes in in the last movement and mostly plays along with the basses, except for the Janissary part in the middle. The da-da, da And the bassoon, uh, second bassoon in the contra started out, the, the whole bassoon section actually. And we have this, in the old editions, this is what the contra has. But in some of the newer editions that are kind of older, I'm not sure how this works, but the contra actually plays an octave below the second bassoon at the beginning, and it sounds like this. Which 
I think is really cool. And now I, I'm not gonna know for a while which one my strawberry Oracle is gonna have us do because I haven't got my part yet. And um, there was another piece on the uh, next Masterworks, Masterworks 9, that I was really, really, really looking forward to play. Um, Bolero was on there. Um, this is my part to Bolero. For about a thousand measures. And I actually really like my part to Bolero, but don't tell anybody. It's much easier than everyone else's part, but it's cool. But we're also doing Ravel's Concerto for the left hand. And this opens up after a very misty, nebulous, uh, streaming, cloudy opening. I guess that's what nebulous means. Uh, has a very, very, very beautiful contrasolo. I can't leave this little session. It's a way to say hello to my colleagues that I won't see for a while. This is my harmonic soundboard next season when you get to see us again. You can come ask me about it if you want. Um, this is for Andrew. Andrew's one of the tall elbow players that sits in front of me and he loves this and he's not gonna get to hear it again for six months. This is the thing I do absolutely the best. Thanks for letting me share a little bit of my contra with you and good luck stay healthy i hope to see all of you very soon and for sure by next season <laughs>